Challenge 12, Wigan Warriors 4. What a game, what a game. Oh, good Friday, alive and well. Oh, fantastic, wasn't it? What a game of rugby league that was. An advertisement for the sport like no other. Atmosphere, pounding hits, beautiful skill on show. It had everything. Who needs stats? Who needs to go through all the missed tackles and all the rest of it? Who cares? It was just a brilliant, brilliant game of rugby league. A fantastic advert for the greatest sport on earth. Paul Wellens at full time saying it's as close as you're going to get to origin on the British Isles. That is some statement, but it's hard to disagree when you see fair like this being delivered up. Oh, it was wonderful. It was a banquet of rugby league. It was that good. Oh, oh yes, indeed. Oh, even Jaws would have wanted to have been a part of this one. Outstanding stuff. Get your teeth into this. Uh, unbelievable absolutely unbelievable um, very tight game let's go there straight away the yellow and the red cards I think both were reds I'm just going to say it straight away I think Dupree was a very very lucky boy incredible lucky boy um, yes he hit his chest first but any prop forward leaving with the elbow like that for me it's not a good look and it's not good for the game for me personally Dupree very lucky there's no doubt a bam's coming where the match review panel is concerned for Tyler Dupree and even Matty Pete said discipline in this game he was very concerned about and what I liked about Matt Pete is when challenged over the red card to Liam Byrne he called it straight he said you know up in the gantry he saw it as a yellow or as a red so you Wigan Warriors fans who might be throwing things at my screen at the minute thinking I've got a bit of bias no bias at all your own coach has said it your own coach said it and I think the look on his face with the Dupree one he knew he got away with one there as well love Matty P love his honesty love him as a coach Wigan will be back don't worry about that but yeah I think the burn one I mean you could argue he was trying to wrap his arms but yeah you know I don't think Percival wasn't ducking he wasn't ducking it was a proper hit as well you see that in full in full like in, in full time, wow, you know, not, not slowed down. It looked bad on when it was slowed down. It looked even worse if you just let it play. It was a real bad shot, that one, from Liam Byrne, and it needed to be addressed, and addressed it was, and off it goes. Did that turn the game? Possibly. Possibly 2-0 at half-time. There was nothing between it. Some massive hits. Thompson, Knowles, uh, really put some big shots on in this game. Uh, there was, it was just oh, it was just everything about rugby league that you love. You know, brutal, brutal day. I mean, some of the tackle stats in this game, unbelievable. I mean, Brad O'Neill, 54 tackles in this game, 47 for Kay Dellis, 42 for Liam Farrell. You know, on the on the Saints side of the field, 36 for Morgan Knowles, 33 for Curtis Simon, 34 for Matt Whitler, 31 for Daz Clark. You know, these games are one on day. It's as simple as that. These games are one on day and the one on moments. And two of the best moments of the game came from Alex Wormsley. The first one, that lovely pass to Dodd, where Dodd went off down the right-hand side. I mean, fair play to, to Jai Field there. I'll come back to Field in a minute, but great cover tackle from Field. Brilliant offensive play from Wormsley and from Dodd. I mean, it was just a beautiful, beautiful offload, wasn't it? I mean, he should have been in the suit with a little silver tray. Here you are, sir. Outstanding stuff from Alex Wormsley. Real quality play there. He did it later in the game as well, a little soft-handed ball to, I think it was Matty Lees. Absolutely brilliant from Wormsley. How on earth did Matty Lees get Sky on the match? I don't know. I'll come back to that in my 3 2 1. Uh, but yeah, wonderful stuff from there. And of course, the run from Wormsley, the run where he just went off on that run. Oh, rolling back the years. There's nothing better than seeing a prop forward doing that kind of thing. It was a, a run of destruction, wasn't it, from Alex Wormsley. And of course, that put uh, Saints on the front foot to get the try that ultimately won the game. So, you know, big Al, Al absolutely outstanding. Now, I mentioned Jai Field a minute ago. Where is Field this year? Um, we know his quality. We know by the end of the season he'll have shined. But yeah, again, and really under par performance from Jai Field. I thought he looked really poor. You know, those grubber kicks were really causing him problems, especially in the first half. Uh, not really making the meters that we normally see Fieldy play. Is he carrying a knock? I don't know. But Jai Field at the moment, not the Jai Field that we've seen in the last two seasons. That's going to be a short-term concern for the Wigan Warriors, not a long-term concern. Um, but yeah, Field, I thought, was pretty average in this game. Bevan French, you know, again, French in and out of the game. But, you know, yet again, he doesn't need to, he doesn't need to be all over again. Bevan French to turn it, does he? That I mean, you look at it, he only he ran, he ran 55 metres in this game, nine carries from French, you know, so he wasn't really all over the game in any way, shape or form. But that try was all about his personal ingenuity, wasn't it? An outstanding little grubber kick. I mean, again, Saints fans will argue, did he get it down? Did he not get it down? I mean, what I really liked was the analysis from, from Tompkins at the end of the game and uh, John Wilkin, where they were saying, you know, what, Wellsby's position, he couldn't have done any more. You know, that was the only way that Bevan French could score that try and Bevan French found a way. Brilliant punditry, really 
like that, and I agree with it. Outstanding. Nobody can be at fault of that. You've just got to tip your hat to a master of his craft, and that's what Bevan French truly, truly is. But then back came the Saints. Of course, it was helped by the fact that Liam Byrne got sent off. Of course, that helps. It does. But there he is again, Tommy Makinson. I said on the In the Sheds for the whole FCKR game, you know, Cam Scott going to Wakefield, got to be a concern for FC. Tommy Makinson going to Catalan, rumoured at the end of the season. That's going to be a big loss. Tommy's still got plenty of rugby league in those legs. I mean, I know over the last couple of seasons he's had his injury concerns, but by law did he take that try really, really well. A lovely kick as well from Lewis Dodd. I mean, I wish I had a pitching wedge as good as that uh, when I go on a golf course. Outstanding stuff from Doddy there and of course then Conrad Hall who had a shocker of a game let's be absolutely honest Conrad Hall for me uh, really poor only eight tackles I mean the, uh, two really bad knock-ons he was he was all over the place Conrad in this game and then, what do you know Conrad Hall do, does what he does best give him the ball 15 metres out and off he goes in he goes absolutely bull, you know, just like a bulldozer give me that ball I'm going to go and get this win for my team and win it he did I thought Lomax was good as well in dispatches also for the Saints, a brilliant game. Rugby League was the winner. You know, absolutely fantastic. Origin standard, you better believe it. Unbelievable game. Thank you to both teams and thank you to both supporters. The atmosphere that came through the teller was nothing short of brilliant. Saints have the bragging rights for now. Let's not have it on this nonsense. We're the real World Club champions. No, you're not. The World Club challenge champions are wigging, but just take you in. You deserved it and congratulations uh, for that. Right, the 3 2 1. Who am I giving it to? In games like this, defence wins games. Of course it does. So, two of the people that I'm giving points to, it's all about defence. But how can you look past Alex Wormsley for three points in this one? Alex Wormsley, for me, deserves the three points. For me, he gets overlooked far too much. Maybe his consistency uh, goes against him and he gets overlooked. Lee's man of the match on Sky. You're having a giggle. Alex, well, yeah, Lee's tackle more. Okay, 33 tackles to 18. But Alex Wormsley was simply brilliant. His runs, he carried the ball 17 times for 132 metres. Compare that to the uh, Lee's 8 for 45. You know, he, he, he's tackle bus 7. 7 in this game to Lee's his 1. It was all Alex Wormsley. You cannot deny that. Alex Wormsley, 3 points. 2 points, I'm going to stay with St. Helens. I'm going to give them to Morgan Knowles. Morgan Knowles, for me this season, is a different Morgan Knowles on both sides of the ball. You know, brilliant tackle. 36 tackles, some of them are massive shots as well at key points in the game. And over 20 carries from Morgan for 107 metres. I see him ending up possibly in the front row, taking over from Big Alley in the future. But a brilliant, brilliant game from Morgan Knowles. And the first, and the last point, and for me, had Wigan have won it, possibly would have been man of the match for Wigan, was Brad O'Neill because of his defensive efforts. 54 tackles in D from the hooker. That is some shift. That really is. In a game like this, you know, to, to show up and put 54 shots on the opposition. Brad O'Neill, sir, I tip my hat off to you. So there's me 3-2-1. Three, three for Wormsley, two for Knowles, and one for Brad O'Neill of the Wigan Warriors. Do you agree with that? Do you not agree with that? Get in the comment. Were you a neutral? Did you enjoy this game? What are your thoughts? Is it an origin standard game? Big call from Wellens. It's hard to disagree with him. Come on, get in the chat. Let us know. That has been another edition of In the Sheds. We will be back tomorrow as we review the Saturday fixtures. St. Helens 12, Wigan Warriors 4, bragging rights are in the Saints court at this moment in time. The return game should not be underestimated. Wigan will want to come back and come back strong. Can't wait for that one. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tonight.